This is a 100 watt Bluetooth amplifier. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to build it and the adventure starts right now. This is a Dayton Audio KAB board. You can order it by itself or with all these add-ons. I ordered a Bluetooth speaker kit and it included the amp and all of these goodies like rechargeable lithium batteries, a smart charger module, a control panel, and a power supply. Putting it together is easy. You don't need a lot of tools. You just need to know what goes where and that's what I'm gonna show you. Let's start with the control panel. The kit contains a toggle switch. The number one represents on and the zero is off. And the switch just clips in, not really much to show. Next, you're gonna install the DC power connector. This is a round connector with a pin in the middle. Don't confuse it with the aux in connector, which may look similar. The power connector has a red positive and black ground wire. It has a small retaining nut. So you just take that off and then poke the connector through the back side of the board and then thread on the retaining nut. The kit even has a tiny wrench you can use to tighten it down. Next is the volume control. If you look real close at the control board, you'll see there's a tiny little slot underneath the hole for the volume knob. There's a tiny metal alignment tab on the volume control that goes into that slot. You just pull the plastic knob off the volume control and unscrew the retaining nut. And then you line up the tab with the slot. Thread the retaining nut on, and then you stick the plastic knob back on, and the volume control is done. I'm gonna install the auxiliary input next. It just inserts from the back, and once again, you thread on a retaining nut. Now we are left with four LED lights. I'm gonna start with the green pairing light. This one has two black wires. For the LED lights, we insert them all from the front of the board and then slide a washer and retaining nut onto the wire and thread them into the back of the board. The next three lights all look exactly the same, but the wires are different. They're installed exactly the same with the retaining nut threaded onto the back. The green and black wire is the power LED, the blue and black wire is the Bluetooth LED, and the red and black wire is the charging LED. All that's left to do is to connect the volume control cable to the volume control, and the control panel is done. But we're not done yet. There's still a lot of wires to hook up, so keep watching. Let's check out the amp board itself. This is the red board with the big round heat sink. Start by orienting the board in the same direction as the instructions. This will keep you from getting turned around. I'm gonna start on the right-hand side of the board and start working my way around the board counterclockwise. We've got three white connectors in a row. The first connection is an expansion slot. We don't need it. Next is the on off power cable. This is the wire from the toggle switch. It's a pair of black wires. The third connector has four pins. This is the battery connection that connects the lithium ion charging board. The last connector on the right hand side is a two pin black connector. This is the DC power cable. So we find the power plug on the harness and plug that wire in. It'll be red and black. The clip on the cable slides over a tab on the inside edge of the connector. Moving on to the top of the board, we have two connectors. The first one is the volume control cable. So we track down the volume control wire from the control board, plug that in right there. Moving counterclockwise across the top of the board, the next connection is going to be the pairing connection. This is the green LED labeled pairing on the control panel. This cable has two black wires and all of these cables only fit one way. And so if you're finding yourself having to force it in, you've got it in wrong. You wanna turn it around, put it in the correct way. The last thing on top of the board is the Bluetooth antenna connection. It's a little bit hard to see. It's this little bitty brass knob that sticks out from the board. You just clip the Bluetooth antenna onto that and you're good to go. Moving to the left side, the first connector is the Bluetooth LED light. This is your black and blue wire. The next connector is a black and red wire. This is your charging LED connector. The final connector on the left-hand side of the board is gonna hold both the auxiliary end cable and the power LED cable. Start with the auxiliary input first and then the power LED with the green and black wire. You'll have two unused pins. Now there is a connection at the bottom of the board this is the speaker wire connector. 
Pay careful attention to the instructions. All four of the wires on the connector are the same size and color, so it's easy to get them mixed. I'm not ready to plug in the speaker wire connector yet, so hang on, we'll get to that in a little bit. Okay, now the hard part is over. Now all we need to do is grab the risers out of the kit and start putting the plate and the board and the battery all together. The kit came with a set of four long risers, a set of four medium sized risers, and four short risers. We're going to start with the long risers. In the kit, you're going to find some black Allen head bolts. These thread into the risers through the control panel. And before we attach the amp, let's grab some zip ties and clean up this big nasty rat's nest of wires. I'm using some flush cutters here. These don't leave sharp edges on the zip ties. It'll keep you from slicing your fingers on the zip ties. I'm gonna leave a link in the description. Go ahead and buy some of those if you do a lot of stuff with zip ties. You'll thank me for it. Now take one of the other riser sets. I'm not sure if you really need the short ones or the medium ones. You're gonna thread those into the long risers through the amplifier board. Make sure you don't mix the sizes, that won't go very well. <laughs> Next, you're gonna insert the batteries into the battery holder. And you're gonna use silver Allen screws to attach this board to the risers coming off of the amplifier. Don't forget to plug the battery board into the amp board. Now you're gonna to wanna to carefully insert the assembly into your speaker project. Take care not to pinch any wires. The kit came with four gasket strips. You can install these to get an airtight seal. Now you just pre-drill your screw holes and screw down the mounting plate. But we're not done yet. To see what happens next, you're gonna to wanna to hit the subscribe button so that you can see the next video. And in the meantime, here's a video right here that you'll probably enjoy. I'm the DIY Audio Guy, and I'll see you on the next adventure.